um, all right, I'm uh, basically looking at this uh, ZVS driver here, this Mozilla, I guess if, uh, is how you pronounce it, um, type circuit. Um, yeah, this thing had me stumped for quite a while. In fact, I've seen you know a lot of references and so forth. I don't know if I can pull them back up, some of the things I looked at from various points up in the... Um, Yeah, that's one of them. Uh, actually, it's probably just the raw one. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I mean, I pulled up a couple of these, and this was off like, I don't know, um, Reddit, I think, something like that. Let's see. That's not it. Um, anyway, yeah, it was off, uh, yeah, I don't know, some forum I found. Um, where they were discussing how this thing worked, and at any rate, um, you know, this was this. Well, this was my modification of the. Well, let's see. No, not this one. Um, the, yeah, this. Oh, well, shit. Uh, okay, no. I had actually modified these circuits, both of them a little bit, but. Uh, um, but I guess when you reopen something like this, it just defaults back to the previous one. I did actually save it, though, um, on the computer. I could pull it up, but it's not that important. But anyway, yeah, this is something this guy did, trying to figure out the Mazil, um, ZBS. And, of course, it's wrong, you know, and that, you know, uh, occurred to me immediately. This wasn't right. Um, you know, so this guy responded with this version which, you know, okay, you know, it does something, but it was confusing. I was like, what the hell's going on here? You know, um, let me look at something real quick. Anyway, um, you know, I <laughs> wanted to investigate something. Yeah, this is complete garbage, too, but this is what the guy responded with. Man, I wish I could find that article just to give people the credit. Dick? I hate these fucking ass. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ugh. Goddamn fucking prick. Well, I don't know. I guess I closed too much shit in the meantime. Um. T minus 10 seconds to crispy yeah. and fluffy. Okay, yeah. This is actually a good little key keycap tutor by this guy, too. This, this dude here. Um, short but sweet, so. Although KeyCAD doesn't have like auto routers in it or anything, but anyway, um, in this video, I'll t this is kind of interesting, but I don't know, kind of useless. This is the video where there's a uh, an interesting little site here that I meant to kind of look up. Uh, I still want to try these PCB guys out, see if they really are two dollars and. And if they continue to be two dollars after your first order, or are they, or are they just trying to sucker you in, uh, like PCB companies always traditionally did, as I recall? Um, first order they do for cheap, but then after that, those nice quotes are gonna go away. Okay, all right here. I don't know who this is. Let's see, enter the input data. Um, I don't know if he has a link. schematic and PCB Gerbers. What the fuck is this? Hmm. Let's see what that is. <coughs> so I get a virus by clicking shit on this way. Okay, let's see. Can I just? What the hell's going on with this thing? Uh, uh, um, I mean, you 
you'd think you could just open up the picture without having to download anything. Um, let's see. I don't think you use the link. I don't think that was necessary. You should just be able to download. I wish I could see what these file names are. Okay, I just double click on it. Um, okay, this is just a buck converter. You know, we should get on Amazon for <laughs> a whole couple of bucks. I don't know what people want the specs of this thing are. <coughs> These buck converts aren't that big of a deal. I mean, geez. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it just depends on what you're doing with it, I guess. And how compact you need it. And again, if you're making it yourself, uh, I don't know how compact you can realistically make it. Let's see, what is this? Bet you it's a server's mount footage yet. If the pitch is not too fine, you know, you'll probably do it yourself, but man, it's a fine pitch circuit to get it. Anyway, yeah, that's no big deal. Um, before I, I don't know if I, you know, could find that. You know, I think I got too much crap here. Got Tom. He's an easier to pronounce handle, like Mark Twain or something. <coughs> or Schmeg Twain, or sh just Schmeg, like on Red Dwarf. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I think this is an exercise in futility. Um, I just dump dumping my browser history here. Uh, I was looking for um, alternative uses for 494, you know, which you find often in a PWM chip, you often find a PC power supplies. You know, I figured surely somebody's come up with more clever uses for it. I did see a motor driver. Um, Uh, yeah, this is weird. A Q meter. I'm not sure how practical this is to build, though. Because, well, I mean, I guess it's probably practical. But these transistors are actually really expensive um, that they have in here. Because these are like three or four dollar transistors, and they're TO92. They're just RF transistors or some bullshit. Let's see. <coughs> now, well, I guess I could have just brought this thing up. Fuck off. I mean, somebody needs to fucking come up with a blocker for that kind of crap. Um, I don't really see the whole schematic, but you can see where it's at. But yeah, these transistors here are like four or five dollar transistors. I was like, fuck that. Uh, I mean, maybe you can substitute others in, but you'd really have to get into the nitty gritty of how this damn thing works exactly. So, I'm not really sure. I mean, yeah, I figured that something like this might be nice for, like, tuning Tesla coils or something. Um, yeah, I started looking 
other Q meters here too, just generally after I saw that one, because I never even knew there was such a thing. Um, uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's another four minutes Q meter thing. Okay. Um, yeah. See here, this is again. Told you I didn't need to do that. Oh shit, man. This is getting obnoxious. I'm gonna continue this side. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, here is one of the other uses for a 494. I wish I could actually reclose everything I'm opening up without having to go do it manually before my computer freezes. Anyway, it's here somewhere. I, I probably, it was probably on one of the back buttons or something. It's something I already, you know, we reopened a long time ago. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is, you know, uh, Schmeg's, uh, you know, motor controller with PWM, which is, you know, fine, um, I guess, you know, um, I was kind of questioning how necessary some of this stuff really is, but, um, particularly this push-pull stage here, you can really do this, I think, with passes, I don't, I don't think you need this, this, whatever he's doing here. Sorry, I don't even quite understand what the fuck he's doing for sure. You know, let's see. You know, that's okay. It's a PNP transistor, so that's going to stuck. And suck. If it's on, so in other words, if this is low, and if this is high, then it's going to supply current through here. Okay. I mean, it certainly does that with a fairly low impedance path. I can't say that's a terribly bad idea, except that there'll be shoot through on it. So, um, you know, again, that's kind of what I'm wondering without looking up the specs of these uh, transistors and all that crap, which is usually kind of a pain in the ass to find something like that in your junk box. But, uh, you know, you can probably use any transistor, I assume, but still. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not really necessary to have two of these. You can do this with, you know, with at least one transistor. You know, basically, usually activating the damn thing. Um, so this requires a positive voltage on it. So if this thing was off, this would float high, therefore turning that on. So if you don't mind this being in reverse. You can use this this transistor here to actually deactivate these. <coughs> Otherwise, you have to like put a, a larger resistor here and tie this to ground. Again, it'd be less efficient. But fuck, who cares? I and mean, what the fuck wrong with you people? Um, this becomes a real heat sink problem, but I mean, it's like I said, for the most part, dude, you're amateurs, you're not going into production. Who cares if your shit's inefficient or not? Um, anyway, um, I think people need to concentrate on what's important. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Um, okay, but yeah, let's see if we don't need this. Um, yeah, this is, um, another driver I was looking at, I was kind of wondering about that actually sparked this whole thing, because this guy is using actually a, uh, a well, an L, a, a FET driver here, you know, and claiming it's like badass and shit, and it's not, uh, I think it was a couple of dollars for this thing, you know, 250 or something, uh, at Mauser or whatever, um, 
these two fifties actually aren't too bad, like a buck sixty or something from Mauser, but single unit quantities. Um, but you know, it's not free shipping, so. Um, you know, AliExpress. I, I don't know. I have kind of mixed, you know, mixed impressions on that because it looks like they're actually like trying to compete with Mauser, which these guys are in fucking Russia. Every time I go to their damn website, they try to translate it into fucking Russian. Like, here. Say, it's in Russia. Okay, um, but yeah, every time you just click into this, it'll try to translate it into Russian. Well, that makes me feel real comfortable fucking sending my money to Russia. So, I, I don't know, you know, but, um... Anyway, yeah, um, I don't know, you know, you know, about that, because I, mean, I thought this was like Alibaba or something, you know, I was, you know, I thought it was like a pipeline to China, I don't know, given the fact this is from Russia, it makes me a little nervous, I've had a good experience with them so far, but, but anyway, the point I'm making is, is what really gives me the EBGVs is that, if I try to look up some of these components actually on here, man, the prices are about as expensive as I buy them from Mauser. You know, uh, and, oh, guess what? You have to pay shipping, too. You know, well, what the fuck? So, I mean, I guess this is all a gimmick. I mean, these guys think they can actually compete with a reputable supply house like Mauser in price? Seriously? No, fuck that. I'm going to go to Mauser every day. I mean, you got to be, uh, like, 20, no more than 20% the price of somebody like Mauser before I take a chance on you on an average, ongoing basis. There's no way you're going to make it out trying to be just competitive with Mauser on prices. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, I mean, seriously, you guys are a bunch of nitwits if you don't actually check around places like DigiKey and Mauser and check both of them because, believe it or not, DigiKey and Mauser aren't always equal on everything. Um, <coughs> you can even check Jamico if you're looking for something obscure. You know, a lot of times you can find uh, obsolete chips on, on there. Uh, but they're a very, very reputable supply house. I mean, those guys, Jamico, have been around just for fucking way longer than I've been into electronics. So, uh, I used to get catalogs from them in the early 80s. So, um, you know, them and other people, like, you know, like, let's see, like, like JDR, I guess it was, uh, uh, was a competitor of theirs, and then uh, Dick Smith Electronics a little bit, kind of in the later, mid to late 80s. Uh, they were on an Australian outfit. They're not around anymore, I don't think. But anyway, um, I digress. But, um, but yeah, that's just kind of crazy, you know, that they, they do that. I, I still, I mean, I've seen some mind-blowing good deals, like 500 forward supercapacitors for like two bucks and free shipping. You know, I'm definitely going to look into that. <laughs> but, um, you know, if another stimulus check comes in for sure. But, um, any anyway, rate, yeah, I don't know. I'm just confused. Let's see, what the fuck is this? Uh, okay. Some kind of a... Switch mode power supply. Oh, I remember something about this. This is kind of an like unfinished business, I think. I was looking into the possibility of, you know, 555 driving some of these things. I think this is, a, an, again, an unfinished line of investigation. Because I, I just keep asking myself, you know, I mean, looking at some of these, um, you know, it's how plausible would it be, you know, instead of doing something such as this, um, you know, you actually, because see, this still actually will oscillate, you know, like a typical Mazzilli driver, but, um, 
you know, because it's actually sort of getting feedback. Yeah, I don't know, because this guy really knows what he's doing, and you run into that a lot on the internet. I gotta question everything. Um, like this little voltage divider scheme, I'm just not really sure how necessary that is, because this thing actually doesn't use any kind of direct feedback. There's no real reason for it. I mean, it's almost like this guy thinks this is a TTLIC or something, but it's not. So, um, this this is more like a CMOS IC. Um, I don't know why on earth you would you know, put a voltage divider in here. It really doesn't, if you follow the circuit, it really doesn't serve any purpose that I can detect. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> um, MOSFET driver, oh yeah, I was looking at one of those driver chips up, so again, you know, it's kind of expensive. But anyway, yeah, I was kind of wondering if, um, you know, if you might be able to, um, oh, this is a fucking link to that, uh, one of these circuits here, uh, this one actually, uh, you can't just, there's no link to this circuit, so you've actually got to go to this place, this paste bar, bin or whatever, and it actually has this. Uh, well, actually, this is kind of weird. Let's well, see, I've already did a paste thing on it, but I think that's just part of it. Um, let's see if I can go back. Yeah, see, it has two. It's got raw paste data, and then it's got this. If you paste this in it, it'll open it up in that, uh, you know, false stat. It, it'll have the circuit, but it'll be like confused. It thinks there's errors in it. So you gotta go grab this and paste it in the same exact way, you know, by coming to file and doing, you know, import from text. Um, so you gotta do this like twice. You know, first time it'll give you the, the first time it'll give you this basic circuit, and the second time it brings in the actual data. So, anyway, a little confusing, but but that's where you need to go to do that, by the way. Um, see. And this is the guy that did it, too, by the way. This Doom 2 Pro. So, you know, this is where I found this out. But you had to actually look through the links down here to actually find somebody that was griping about it not working. So, and this is how I found that place. Um, anyway, 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 um, okay, um, uh, flyback driver, shit, I just woke up by the way, so my brain's still not working, um, the verge, is that virgin, um, Let's see. You verge. Let's see. Android police. So, what the fuck is this about? Extra simple trick. Oh, duh. <laughs> you know, I tried that and it actually works. Um, but I don't know if I want to spread that because, you know, then everybody will start doing it and they'll, they'll make it so it doesn't work no more. Um, don't go there. Given how woke Google is, you can bet it's probably pretty suspicious if that's actually got a, you know, jihadi writing there and a fucking explanation point. That means that probably is suspicious. Strange they don't take it down or nothing, but I guess it's just suspicious, right? <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, but yeah, so anyway one way to find this place um, through Google 
But anyway, uh, I'm going to make another video that actually details this because I've gone off on a tangent.